Hello, everyone. Hi, Dr. Pack and Shuko. Thanks for inviting me to give this presentation. Uh, my name is Chiu Liu. Uh, I stayed in the history department for a long time, very, very long. But I just moved to Boston with my partner because right now I'm carrying a 20 weeks baby boy in my body. Uh, so, well, oh, you probably never saw me in the department. Uh, again, very, it's very nice to see you all. So if you have any questions about my presentation, my teaching experience, I provide my email address in the PowerPoint, in the slides. Uh, feel free to throw me a message anytime and I would like to answer and uh, or give suggestions to your syllabi. Okay, now it's time to share my thoughts, my tips uh, of my online teaching experience. Uh, so my dissertation is about women and violence in the pre-1949 land reform in North China. The online course I taught was History 182 Asian Civilization 2 from uh, the 15th century to current politics, uh, which was taught in 2018 winter. And here is my email address. If you have more questions, uh, feel free to write me a letter. Now I'm going to talk about uh, some of my tips when teaching the online course. Uh, first of all, I think it's very important to build close connections with the students. Uh, so before the course, I made a self-introduction video uh, and posted it on UbiLearns. Uh, I will show you from the UbiLearns. You can see from here. Uh, so this is a personal profile session. I wear I wore my favorite jujitsu uh, co jujitsu costume, but now I cannot wear it. And then I also asked my students to post their personal profile presentation. So each student got the opportunity to know each other. You can see from I'll just to pick a random one to show you. Oh. Not this one. Not this one. They can send me either uh, MP4 format or they can send me a link that published on YouTube. So here is one of the students. Uh, provided a link from YouTube. Uh, second, I also arranged on campus office hours uh, because I understand it's very difficult for us and also for the students to go to the campus. But still, I mean, only one student asked me to do that, to meet him on campus. So he shared you know, more information with me, like uh, his favorite historian, his understanding of history, and also asked me suggestions of uh, studying history in the future or what kind of major, uh, you know, other stuff. And also I arranged the Skype office hours to make closer connections with students who had difficulties in their study. So I think these three uh, tips are very helpful to build close connections with the students and the instructor. My second tip was to provide a very detailed syllabus to the students. Uh, because usually the online course during breaks are very intensive. Uh, so it's important for us to give them some outside pressure to read, to study, and to learn the syllabus. 
So first of all, read the syllabus very carefully. You have no idea. Most of the students they do not read the syllabus. So actually, I learned this tip from Marisa. I hide one sentence in the syllabus and、I、told them before. You know, there is one extra point opportunity hidden in the syllabus. If you read the syllabus very carefully, ah,、uh, you will find it. You will find it. So actually, it's. Like one sentence, in the middle of the syllabus, saying that if you read here, you send me a picture of a kitty to my email, then you got, then you can get one extra point. Second, it's a very detailed schedule of the study. I will show you later in my syllabus. Third, it's give the students due alerts. Okay, now I'm going to show you my detailed syllabus. Here,、uh, so as you can see, I made a very clear course schedule in the syllabus.、Uh, it was divided into week one, week two, and week three, week four. So, yes, so prepare the syllabus. Before the course, very carefully, to think about the assignments, the content of the whole course. And you can see,、uh, yes. So these are all the、uh, contents I planned in my online teaching.、Uh, and also, I will show you the extra point. Opportunity, I think it's here.、Mm. Well, I, I cannot find it. Anyway, but it was in the syllabus. Ah,、uh, so, and also send the students assignment alerts. Uh, you can see the all the red marked are the deadline of are the deadlines of the assignments. So usually,、uh, I will send them an email alert、uh, by UB Learns.、Uh, usually, you know, one day before the due date. So they have a clear、uh, understand understanding of the upcoming assignments. Uh, so next is always give the is always to give the students interesting and small assignments.、Uh, so first of all, my method is to use multimedia、uh, in the online teaching education.、Uh, then I will show you some of my discussion board assignments. So interaction is something I focused on. Uh, in the discussion board assignments, I always ask the student to, to、uh, communicate to each other, to challenge, to agree, or to doubt the other's、uh, responses. And also because it's very in, it's、uh, very intensive. It's a very intensive、uh, online teaching course.、Uh, I don't give them very big, you know, writing. Uh, assignments, but I make sure to give them small quizzes every day or you know every weekday.、Uh, now I'm going to show you examples of my assignments. Uh, so here. Are the important dates and the possible points of each assignment?、Uh, for example, the first one is personal profile and intro post, and then is discussion board assignment one, map quiz, assignment two.、Uh, the biggest project is the three pages movie reflective paper and the thematic paper and ten minutes presentation.、Uh, 
So here are my requirements of the discussion board assignments, as you can see here. So truly involving in the discussions is the only way that you can get full points of the discussion board assignments. Uh, the writing assignment, uh, I just mentioned multimedia. So the first essay will be a reflective essay on a Japanese movie, Rashomon. I think it's a very classic uh, Asian movie to let the students understand Asian culture, which is quite different from Western cultures. And also, um, it's, I think Rashomon is kind of you know postmodern because it provides uh, the readers, the uh, the reader's different understanding of the whole fact, so the students can think about: Is there a true fact? Is there a true history? Uh, but unfortunately, they have to buy this movie online. But it's very cheap; it's only like three dollars uh, from on Netflix. Uh, now I'm going to show you my discussion board assignment. Uh, let me see. No, not this one. My favorite one is... No. Oh, where is it? I don't know why I cannot open this. Oh yeah, here it is. So here I provide a famous poem. You must uh, have heard about that written by Kipling in 1899. Imagine that you were a Philippine elite, a Chinese emperor, a Japanese emperor, Spanish missionary, or an American military leader. Uh, you were an important literate person at that time. For some reason, you read this poem and started to think about your nation and the West or East strangers. How would you respond to this poem? You can pick one character and write a short response to Kipling. Uh, so the key here was to imagine yourself living in 1899. Uh, So I, then I will show you some of the students' responses. Probably he, he was one of the best uh, students. So if I were Emperor Meiji, uh, reigning Japanese emperor in 1899, reading this poem, I imagine infuriate me. Uh, and then other students, you know, gave their responses to this person. Also, you can see here. So, yeah, they even talk about like white priority, you know, deeply rooted in white European imperialists. imperialists. Uh, yeah, you know, I consider this is one successful example of my online teaching. Uh, then I will show you some of the quizzes. First one is uh, the map quiz. Uh, I mean, yeah, I understand. Of course, they can always find outside materials uh, from their cell phone, but the key here was to finish this map quiz, at least they can have some, you know, general idea of the uh, East Asian cultures. 
and also other quays oh i want i want to show you those questions oh they are very simple questions like general understanding of from the contents of my lectures uh so in the end here are my other thoughts uh, first of all is to make sure preview the online teaching web pages so from UB Learns, you can see there was a preview button. Uh, so you can always preview your course organization. Uh, second is take time zones into consideration. Uh, yeah, because some students, they are, I mean, lots of them, they are internationals. So we have to keep in mind that time zones uh, was important. Uh, actually, I received emails from the students saying they were abroad or they were in a flight so they asked for you know some extra time to finish the assignments uh, so that's why i listed the third point here stay flexible be ready to adjust to deadlines and grading policies and deadlines in response to students needs because it's online teaching um, and also, some students told me they had to work, uh, they had to do their extra, you know, part-time jobs. Uh, yeah, I understand their concern. I try to make fair to every student, but also stay flexible uh, to them. So, uh, thank you so much. Uh, listening me talking about my online teaching history uh, I also attached my syllabus uh, to Shoko so if you have more questions you want to ask me more questions feel free to throw me a message thank you very much everyone